Hello again, I'm Jim Lampley. Manny Pacquiao's rise from penniless beggar on the street to tiny kickboxer to flyweight boxer and ultimately to fighting king of the Pacific Rim is the stuff of legend, and he is one. Now looking ahead to his fourth fight with his most difficult rival, Juan Manuel Marquez of Mexico, on December 8th, we present with abundant awe and appreciation Manny Pacquiao's greatest hits. November 2003, eager for a big challenge, Pacquiao clashed with pound-for-pound -pound superstar Marco Antonio Barrera. Hard left hand, straight on the button by Pacquiao, down goes Barrera. Barrera getting three chances to counter with the left hook, but taking a lot of leather to do it. Barrera's left eye is now starting to swell badly. Marco Antonio Barrera taking by far the worst physical beating of his career. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Finally, a superstar emerges in San Antonio. May 2004, Pacquiao faced veteran Mexican boxer puncher Juan Manuel Marquez. In the first round, the Pac-Man, with furious intent, dropped Marquez three times. Juan Manuel Marquez hasn't ever seen anything like that. Who has? But in a tremendous display of resiliency, Marquez continued in the fight. Hard right hand stuns Pacquiao. Pacquiao once again wants to fight fire with fire. Marquez pops him with the right again. This was called by many the fight of the year. Both warriors battling through withering assaults and vicious attacks. Both have the hearts of champions. A hellacious night would end with a disappointing and controversial draw. January 2006, after his only loss on American soil the preceding year to Eric Morales, Pacquiao got a shot at a rematch, and Manny wasted no time going on the attack. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Pacquiao avenged the earlier loss with a dominating 10th round technical knockout victory. Ten months after Pacquiao had even the score with Morales, they faced off again in the highly anticipated rubber match. Pacquiao picked up right where he had left off, dominating the overmatched Morales. Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't run and again. Up. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. After a second victory over Barrera, Pacquiao finally got together with Juan Manuel Marquez for a rematch, four years in the making. Hard right hand by Marquez. Uppercut by Marquez, huge left hook, buckled Pacquiao. In round three, Pacquiao responded in vintage fashion. Down goes Marquez on a straight left hand shot. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. In round 10, Pacquiao's power once again left its mark. This all started with a brilliant Pacquiao left hand, which looked for a moment as though it was gonna knock Marquez down. And once again, the two legendary fighters brawled to the finish. What guts both fighters have shown tonight. One more right hand for Marquez. One more combination for Pacquiao. They trade shots down the stretch. In another classic battle, Manny Pacquiao escaped with a split decision victory. The third round knockdown proving the difference in the fight. December 2008. Pacquiao and Oscar Del Hoya squared off in a much celebrated dream match. From the opening bell, Pacquiao's speed advantage shocked Del Hoya and rocked him back on his heels. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao, and Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut up the middle. You might describe the first couple of rounds as shock and awe. Blending his blinding speed with precision accuracy, Pacquiao continued peppering Del Hoya to the head and body. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. This is getting embarrassing. And he is gradually reconfiguring De La Hoya's beautiful face. You can't handle your speed, son. After eight brutal rounds, De La Hoya's corner had seen enough. It's done! Matty Pacquiao has beaten Oscar De La Hoya. May 2009. The Red Hot Pacquiao met Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Pacquiao came out on fire, putting Hatton down twice in the opening round. This is the brilliance 
of the Filipino slugger. In round two, Pacquiao closed the show in scintillating fashion. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao, landing with both right and left hands. Boom. Oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one-punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. November 2009, Pacquiao once again moved up in weight, this time taking on Puerto Rican star Miguel Cotto. Pacquiao and Cotto went at each other with a vengeance, and a couple of the early rounds were classics. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. He starts to open up. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Crowd comes out of its seat for that one. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head back. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand, and another, and another. Pacquiao began to take control with knockdowns in rounds three and four. Manny landed a little right hook in there and follows up by knocking Cotto down. First knockdown of the fight. Now it's Cotto whose back is against the ropes, and he fights his way off and goes down again. And Cotto is hurt by that knockdown where he wasn't hurt by the first one. Hard right hook by Pacquiao, landing more or less at will now. Cotto backs into the corner, he's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty. We thought Manny Pacquiao was great, better than we thought. November 2010, Pacquiao stepped into the ring with Antonio Margarito on a night where Margarito held a 17-pound functional weight advantage. Margarito tries to press the axe and Pacquiao hits a flush with a big left hand and then flurries and backs Margarito up again. Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him because his face is telling a different story. Now this is a dazzling display of boxing skill, power, everything. Unbelievable. He's rearranging Margarito's face and it may never look the same again. Carrying out a systematic, sustained beating, Pacquiao cruised to an easy victory. November 2011. Four years after their rematch, Pacquiao and Marquez squared off for a third time. As with the first two meetings, the action began quickly. There's a hard right hook by Pacquiao, best punch of the fight so far. Now Pacquiao begins to land solidly with a left and a right upstairs. Hard right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao was knocked back on his heels. And there's a hard left by Pacquiao, and a good right hook, and another left. Hard right hand by Marquez, followed by another. Pacquiao with a right hook, Marquez with a left hook. While Pacquiao threw more punches, the 38-year-old Marquez once again proved a tough puzzle to solve. Good left hand shot by Pacquiao. Tries to come back and capitalize. Marquez wants to answer right away. Big left hand for Pacquiao. And that might have won him the round. What a tremendous round. The crowd's on its feet. We've got a fight in Vegas. Heading into the 12th and final round, victory was still up for grabs on the hey. scorecards. Marquez is very conservative here in the final round of a close fight. Pacquiao only needs to throw another combination here at the end, probably to seal this round. For the third time, a Pacquiao-Marquez Classic ended with a narrow decision, with Pacquiao claiming a somewhat unpopular majority decision victory. June 2012. Younger, unbeaten Timothy Bradley eyed an upset over the heavily favored Pacquiao. The champion looked to quickly put Bradley on the defensive. Hard left hand by Pacquiao down the pipe. Best punch of the round so far. It's another straight left hand onto Bradley's jaw. Two big pups for Pacquiao. What's so impressive about this for Pacquiao is he has a real game prime junior welterweight and he's outclassing him. A round four foot injury slowed Bradley down. And while Pacquiao landed many big shots, he was unable to put the underdog on the canvas. And the left hand moves Bradley halfway across the ring. And Pacquiao drives him into the ropes. Bradley landed a right hand. He thinks for the moment he might have bothered Pacquiao. Bradley's proven he's got a pretty decent chin, and he's done better over the last couple rounds. To the complete shock of virtually every ringside observer, Pacquiao was upset, losing a stunning split decision. To see more of Manny Pacquiao, tune in to HBO Boxing.